What's up you guys? I'm going to be starting this t different type of relaxed style video. We're going to go to a different gym that I've never been to before, so pretty excited about that. I got a membership at Anytime Fitness, and Anytime has a lot of different locations around the entire world, actually. Near my house in North Dakota, there's actually an Anytime down the road, so my membership also can get me into that gym there across the world, which is pretty cool. This is actually my cousin's room that I'm staying in. Her name is Bianca, and you might remember her from the Tarak Ridge video. Shout out to Bianca because she kind of planned out that camping trip, so... Yeah, that was over a year now, which is insane. Typically the first thing I do before I go out is brush my teeth, just so that it's all fresh in here. <laughs> The plan for today is going to go to work out at any time, that new location I'm going to show you guys. And then we're going to be going to Shangri-La so that we can meet my Tito BQ. I messaged him in order to coordinate to get my advanced scuba diving license. So he was the main contact that got me into uh, Batangas and helped me meet Francis and kicked off that whole video. And if you haven't watched that video yet, it's now live on the YouTube channel. You can, I'll link it right here in the cards. But yeah, we saw so many cool things there in Batangas and it's probably one of my favorite videos now. So go check that out after you watch this video. So basically for pre-workout, I've been taking these caffeine pills and it's 100 milligrams of caffeine, 100 milligrams of L-theanine. And I took three of these this morning. And then in the car, I'll show you what else I take. So usually when I go to work out, I take a fanny pack. And this is the fanny pack that I have been using to work out. And I'll show you guys a little POV. So basically I have these magnets here from my gimbal that I put onto my phone. So I put them onto my phone here so that we can stick it onto the gym equipment when we're there so I have a good view of my workout during. So this is what it looks like. Also I bring this, this is a mouth guard. So if we open this up, this is a mouth guard that I use it's actually for nighttime, but I found that when I work out, I, really, I tend to grip my teeth like really hard. So I want to protect my teeth and that's probably the best way to do it. So you can kind of tell that it's in there, but <laughs> that's how I do things. And then this here, this is my main backpack that I use for working out. I'm not going to show you everything that's in here. That's going to be a secret until I make more videos. <laughs> but I put my water in this middle pouch. All right, we are good to go. And I'm going to show you guys the app that I use to get rides to and from anywhere in Manila, basically. So it's called Grab. And we don't have Lyft or Uber like in the U.S. So... Uh, oh, where am I going? <laughs> We're gonna go here. We're going to Anytime Fitness City Golf Plaza. So, let's go. City Golf Plaza. He's 11 minutes away. His name is Ronnie. It's going to be a white Hyundai Accent 1278. So, look out for this guy for me. <laughs> let's go. Pondesal for pre workout. And here's Ronnie. Ronnie? So usually if I uh, am working out in the afternoon, I try to get some salt in. So that's what this is. It's like a zero calorie sparkling beverage that just has a little bit of salt. And it's called Vita. And it's kind of the, it's probably the best zero calorie soda that I've found in the Philippines. So I like to drink these before my workouts. 
right, so we're about 10 minutes away, and I'm gonna show you guys what I usually take for pre-workout, besides caffeine. I take this rhodiola, two to four capsules of this arginine citrulline for the pump. This is what the arginine citrulline looks like, and then this brown one is what the rhodiola looks like. Okay, thank you, Ronnie. Brother, <laughs> you know, it has hit summertime here in the Philippines and it's super hot. Like every day it's at least 90, 95 degrees. So I don't know, I don't mind it. The reason that we're going to this anytime is because it's the highest rated anytime that I've seen around this area. It was only a 20 minute drive. So we're gonna check it out and see if it's worth the hype. I saw that the anytime is upstairs, but I'm trying to figure out how to get there. <laughs> it's up here. Here we go. This looks good. Alright, we've made it to anytime fitness. All right, you guys, when I was filming this video, I was very excited to share some of the fitness in my life. <laughs> I feel like on this channel, it's only been like travel stuff and a little bit of fitness, but I really want to implement the fitness aspect into my videos on this channel. So I hope you enjoy. All right, guys, so I'm liking this anytime. It's pretty clean. It's just kind of compact. Like all the equipment is like close together. We're gonna work out. We're gonna get some shoulders and arms in today. All right, you guys, I am nervous. This is the first time that I've done a voiceover for a workout in a long, long time. If you guys didn't know, <laughs> my first ever YouTube channel was a different channel under a different name, and it was primarily focused on fitness content, but this is the first time since then I've voiced over a workout. So just bear with me, and uh, if I make any mistakes, please don't mind. <laughs> we work out here. The first exercise of this workout was dumbbell flies. And you can see here, I'm starting super, super light. I'm starting with one kilogram. Like these are the type of weights that you find in Walmart that no one touches because people think they're too light. But if you do like 40 repetitions of this, you will get the blood pumping into your delts or whatever muscle group that you're trying to target. You can do this with like bicep curls. Uh, I don't know what else. <laughs> but I think the best application for these lighter dumbbells is dumbbell lateral raises and it will really make your shoulder caps burn <laughs> right here we're going to take out the tank top so that you guys can see what muscles we're working with um <clears throat> i start my first set with these 12 and a halfs and i use this weight for three total sets the last set i do a drop set and then i go to failure but yeah everything is pretty controlled I've shifted my training style from powerlifting to more of a bodybuilding type style. I used to powerlift heavily, like that was my main focus. I just wanted to get super strong on the squat bench and deadlift. And I'm still pretty strong in those lifts, but I kind of have shifted to bodybuilding style, going more for aesthetics, but also I love being strong. So. It's a little mix of both. And maybe I won't be the best at either, but <laughs> I will do my best during my workouts. So as you can see here, um, yeah, I, this anytime was, was pretty chill. It was around two, I think I got there at 3 p.m. and it was not crowded at all. It was just like, probably a total of eight people. It was like half trainers, half people who were actually training. So pretty chill, but I had to mute the sound because they were just blaring music and I don't want to get copyrighted. <laughs> but yeah, lateral raises for the shoulders. 
are my absolute favorite for building them. It's so easy to just get a lot of volume in using lateral raises. Uh, you can do them on cables, you can do them with the dumbbells. I prefer the dumbbells just because of the ease of use. There's a little bit of setup time and everything with the cables, but with the dumbbells, you can you can just grab them and go. You can grab them and fly. <laughs> uh, we move on to our second exercise here. We're going to be doing dumbbell military press. So this is a pre-exhausted exercise because we exhausted the shoulders already with the dumbbell flies. So I'm gonna have to go a bit lighter because I'm already a bit pretty fatigued, but we have a good sweat going, we have a good pump going. And one of the best benefits for doing the dumbbell flies before doing your shoulder presses, if you choose to do that, you can really feel your shoulders activating when you're pressing these dumbbells. And that goes for any, any other exercise. Like for example, for the back, if you do a cable pullover, your rows and your pull downs will, and your pull ups, you can feel the muscles so much more when there's already blood pumped in there. So yeah, this was my heaviest set of the entire workout actually. Uh, but I decided to lighten it up because that was a little too close to failure. <laughs> I wanted to get at least, I wanted to get at least eight reps, but I wasn't able to with the 32 and a halves. But with, here with the 30s, uh, I'm able to pump out, I think still seven reps. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think the best thing about anytime is their locations there are so many locations everywhere in the philippines for anytime i see them almost every single mall there's some in davao next to the to our family home there in abriza um there's one here like this is just a random one that i wanted to go to because i was Sometimes I get tired of going to the same location each time and I kind of gravitate towards two primary locations when I'm staying here in Manila. But this one is chill and there's a it's it's in City Golf Plaza, so I saw that there was a driving range across the street and it was pretty cool because if my dad was ever to come to Manila, I would bring him to this gym because I know he would definitely go to the driving range after we worked out or just go straight to the driving range. Um, <clears throat> I think here we're doing standing French press. Uh, there wasn't a shoulder, what is it? There wasn't a bench without like the, there wasn't a military dumbbell bench with like the shorter back support. So I couldn't do these seated. So I just decided to do, to do them standing. Uh, I had to go a little bit lighter because I was standing, but it does activate your core more because you're in that standing position. You have to stabilize your entire body, which is good. And this exercise targets the long, head of the tricep. So if you raise up your hand and you just feel, you feel your armpit, right? The one that's closest to your, the, the, the part of your tricep that's closest to the armpit, that's the long head of the tricep. And then the outside of the tricep, the short head is on the opposite side of that. So yeah, here we are doing bicep curls with the barbell and probably one of my favorite exercises for biceps i know that there's always constant tension if you use cables but there's something about the barbell bicep curl that is just so i don't know so exciting for me <laughs> and i don't know about you and if you're training what you prefer when you're training biceps but i I usually gravitate towards the free weights. I think it's actually picking up that weight, you know, instead of pulling a stack. But I do also go to the cables when I work out my biceps and triceps and all kinds of different exercises. But I don't know, I prefer, I prefer free weights for my biceps. That's just a personal preference. 
but the citrulline and the arginine is definitely working i love that supplement i find it at a store called healthy options here in the philippines and it really helps me achieve the pump like i do not look like this walking around normally like in the rest of the video outside of the gym i don't look like this person in front of you on the screen right now which is why i really enjoy that pump product it really helps me achieve the pump also uh ingesting carbs before your workout helps you achieve a pump a lot of different things so i don't know if you're a girl and you want the booty pump yeah arginine and l-citrulline will help you with that if you're a guy and you want the good chest pump on the push day, uh, find a good nitric oxide boosting product. <laughs> I think it's well worth the investment. Also, another thing that I was working on, or am currently always working on now, is better cardio. And that goes with, you know, jogging, and wanting to hold my breath more underwater so the ways i've been implementing cardio are just jogging on the treadmill uh not much elliptical but i also i started boxing which is kind of crazy i started boxing and that's a really good form of upper body cardio you know if you're stuck and you feel like you're doing legs three times a day not three times a day three times a week if you're doing legs three times a week and you're running on the treadmill and you feel like your legs are just super fatigued and you're just overusing your legs because you're using them for cardio and also resistance training if you switch to boxing it's a really good way to mix up that type of training you will get a cardiovascular exercise without fatiguing your legs your lower body I mean, there is some footwork involved in boxing, but for me, it has really helped me, you know, keep fat off, uh, increase my cardiovascular output and health, and help me get better workouts overall. Like, I do not get as winded as I did when I was just powerlifting and barely doing any cardio, like just incline walking on the treadmill boxing and doing normal forms of cardio like running have really helped my endurance and helped me to push into the higher rep ranges like 15 20 30 even sometimes on my warm-ups and if i'm going crazy on a on a push day or something <laughs> but yeah not much power lifting in my life lately just because when i'm traveling it's very hard to get a nice powerlifting workout usually just squats takes like 45 minutes if you're do if you're taking all your rest time and you're really pushing yourself which does not sound appealing to me because i need to edit <laughs> i need to edit i need to film and there's so much more things i could do with that time instead of doing a three hour powerlifting workout i really look back on those days with fondness when i was working out like two and a half hours per day with powerlifting, but i love these efficient bodybuilding workouts and i think you will too if you're a boy if you're a girl something i noticed in the philippines is that there's not many women in the gym usually it's 85 90 percent men i think that a lot of women would really benefit from resistance training uh, back home, it's like half and half, like half women, half men. And I think that's really a shame because there's so many, so many, oh, there's a girl right there. There's so many benefits to resistance training, no matter if you're a boy or a girl, but there's this stigma of resistance training where here, what I've heard is like, you'll look like a man if you resistance train and this is talked about all over the fitness area, like all over the fitness niche, that that's a myth, but it's still believed in the Philippines. And I want to kind of voice that you should be resistance training if you're a woman, uh, no matter what age you are. I mean, if you have to use the one kilogram dumbbells, like that will help you. Um, and if you 
if you marry that with your cardio training, you'll have a really good, you'll be in really good physical shape in just six months, one year, depending on where you're starting. So I don't want to harp on it too much, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> you don't have to listen to it if you don't want to. But this is the last exercise that we go with here. This is hammer curls and I love hammer curls, dude. These are so awesome. They feel so good. And uh, I think the hardest part about training is training for year, years and years, like training year after year without it getting bored. And I think that's where mastery comes in. And that's why here I am practicing my stretching. After each workout, I try to stretch for at least seven to 10 minutes. I'm trying to achieve the splits. <gasps> Could Andre do the splits one day? I don't know, but I'm getting moderately close. Like, I feel like I'm still a beginner, but. All right guys, we just finished that lift and uh, we're about to get a ride to Shangri-La Plaza. We've got Hoel or Joel here. Waiting for the grab that's going to take us to Shangri-La. That is where we're going to meet Tito BQ and we're going to have dinner with him. Hello. For Andre? How are you? Yeah. Shangri-La? Yeah, that's right. here in Shangri-La I have a few things that I have to pick up I ran out of sunscreen and like body lotion so you guys are coming with me to shop for all of that skincare I went to the concierge and they said that Watson's is on the fifth level so we're gonna go up there now basically if you're going to stay here in the Philippines or in Manila or any big city in the Philippines you're gonna find yourself in the mall a lot if you're looking for, you know, some of the basic necessities that you're used to buying online in the States. <laughs> so it's one, two, three, four, five. So we need to go up two more levels here. I wanna show you guys this really cool thing in Shangri-La. It's called the air wheel. And it's basically a suitcase that you ride. Like it's a suitcase scooter. <laughs> Go ahead. Whoa. <laughs> That's cool. How fast can it go? Uh, 10 to 13 kilometers per hour. Oh my gosh. So it can go pretty fast. <laughs> yeah. How, how much are these? 35,000. <laughs> How much can you how much can you fit in this? Like uh, 110 kilogram. 110. Really? On the storage there is uh, only 20 liters. Oh okay okay. So you can be pretty big. You can be 240 pounds and sit on this. Yes sir. That's cool. Thank you. <laughs> like the inside though? To retract the laser, just press this button. Okay. And then to get inside, you open the laser, just press this one. And it has a 20 liters capacity inside. Oh wow. 
for like a laptop? Yes, sir. This is the bottom, sir. Where? This one here? Does it come out? Yes, sir. And then... It, it comes with one battery? Yes, sir. Okay. How do you charge it? Uh, this one. This one here? Yes. Okay. Two Very hours cool. charging, sir. Charging time, four hours. And then how many, how long do you get to ride for two out for uh, the whole battery? 13 kilometers, sir. The, uh, oh, that's far. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then it goes in like this? Yes, sir. Cool. Oh, this is the power. Nice. Thank you. Yes, sir. <laughs> What are you have a YouTube channel, sir? Yeah, I, uh, it's usually like travel videos. Travel videos. Yeah. What is your channel? It's called Andre Benedict. Andre Benedict? Yeah. Andre yeah. Benedict. So, yeah, thank you, thank yeah, you. Subscribe. I've been traveling like around the Philippines, yes, but uh, this one is just like a casual vlog. Okay. Yeah. What do you have share where are you from? I'm from the US. Ah, US. Yeah. What's your name? I'm Greenfield, sir. Greenfield? Yes, sir. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Um, I'm Lloyd, sir. Lloyd, nice, nice to meet you. Sir. Thank you, guys. Have a good day. Uh, yeah, you too. I can see Watson's right here. Basically, this is the place where I get all of my, I don't know, bathroom things that I use. So, let's check it out. Hello, how are you? Do you have like the variety pack for the serums? We don't have serum, we only have this one. Sir. Okay. For the They have caffeine, hyaluronic acid, and squalene. And then this one is called glycolic niacinamide. Let me see. Oh, can I see this one first? So these are all serums. these are all serums. Yes. Sir. I like the other set that I saw in UP Town. Okay. But yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Do you have the hyaluronic cleanser? Hyaluronic cleanser. Any brand? Sir. Revox. Revox. Oh, yeah, sorry. like the bigger bottle. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. Huh? Okay, thanks. You want to say hi to the vlog? Hi, hi, vlog. Hi, guys. Hello. <laughs> thanks for helping me. Yeah, thank you. See you next time. Oh, it's uh, Andre Benedict. If you um, want to yes, yes, it's for Ben and Ricaino. Your your shop in Megamon. Oh, really? Yes. You know me? Yes. <laughs> I remember he said oh, yeah. taking a picture of him. Oh, Oprah. perfect, <laughs> perfect. The nice. you, sir. Yeah, awesome. You guys are great. Thank you. Thank you. Every time I go to Watson's, they're so accommodating and so nice to me. So I really enjoy going there. They really help you find exactly what you're looking for. And uh, we have the goods. And in about 10 minutes, I think Tito BQ should be here. So we're gonna meet him for dinner. I swear, I was going to suggest Texas Roadhouse to eat with him because I haven't been to Texas Roadhouse since I've been home in the States. So I was really gunning for Texas Roadhouse. Also, Texas Roadhouse has a lot of meat options for post-workout so that's also one of the big reasons why I wanted to go there and Tito BQ suggested we meet at Texas Roadhouse Hi, can I have a table for two? Yeah Where do you want to sit? Sir? Inside uh, or outside? Probably inside Dude, my favorite thing here is the bread. So hopefully it's the same as the States. <laughs> they have the, the buns with this insane like cinnamon glaze batter thing that you put on, the butter thing that you put on the buns. Oh my God, it's hot. so hot. 
but it tastes the same. It's fire. It's a bit too long. I know. I was expecting. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Dude, Fra Francis was great. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, uh, yeah, he's really good. Because I'm a course director, so that means I can also train. And yeah, you're like the top. <laughs> <laughs> There's much more, but uh, but yeah, 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 no problem. I'm making different types of videos. Is uh, it's voluntary? Mm -hmm. you, you haven't met your Tita Allen, right? Mm -hmm. you, you don't know. Sooner, sooner, Bye. Have a good night. No, I'll go. With okay, this okay, bye-bye. Yeah. See ya. Right, thanks, thanks. See ya. All right, you guys, I'm gonna end the video here. I'm gonna go back home and start editing this video. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me during my day. It's just a normal day. It's not a crazy travel video this time, but I don't know. I just wanted to share some of my day-to-day -day life with you guys. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Say hello to me in the comments down below. See you guys in the next video.